Hey everyone, this is Finding Value. Uh, I wanna jump into Uranium Explorers. Uh, I'm gonna just kinda walk you through the, my thought process of what I did to find these explorers uh, and, and kind of what I look for in explorers. Uh, maybe this you know, pushes the needle a little bit more in this highly leveraged uh, area anyway. I mean, I don't know if we need the leverage, but you know, obviously we're gonna need some more mines uh, for mining Uranium and that's where you get the explorers. So let's look into the presentation I have on uranium explorers. So where I was looking was the Athabasca region. Um, it's known to have the world's largest source of high grade uranium and currently supplies uh, about 20% of the world's uranium. So I wanted to look where the high grades are and where it's a, it's a safe mining you know, area, they're pro mining, <clears throat> and uh, where the big dogs are. Uh, so the most important current mine is Camco's MacArthur River mine. Uh, it's the world's largest high-grade uranium mine. Other uranium mines in the Athabasca Basin include the Cigar Lake Mine, Clough Lake Mine, Key Lake Mine, and McLean Lake Mine. Uh, so to sum it up, the big boys find and produce uranium from this region. And this region, I wanted to see all of the uranium explorers uh, who are exploring for new deposits. So I, I was looking in that area and some of the companies I have up here, uh, I've talked about before, some are producing, but the people or big players in this region are Camco Corporation, uh, Next Gen Energy, they've got the Aero Project uh, and they're not producing yet. Fission Uranium Corp, they've got the Triple R project. Uh, they're not producing yet. Uh, we've got ISO Energy Limited, which is tied to Next Gen Energy. Uh, I think that's their parent company is, is, I think what I've read there. They're also looking all over the Athabasca reg you know, region or basin uh, for new discoveries. It looks like they have a discovery that they have and they're looking for more. So I do think that's a good company to look into is ISENF. Uh, it's a 77 million market cap right now. Another one, uh, Baseload Energy Corp. The geologist there came, or was the person who found Next Gen's energy. And I don't know if he found Triple R's, but it was the Aero Project. Uh, and, and he has a good area and is very excited about the Shadow. It's called Shadow Project. He's very excited about the Shadow Project uh, and the location of the shadow area in relationship to fault lines and how these things uh, develop uranium. So this is a very small company that just started up. Uh, they just went public. So it's B-S-E-N-F. Uh, make sure to put in limit orders because it's a very thinly traded stock and it's not super liquid. Uh, this is, I mean, it just came out. Uh, I think it's not even a week or two uh, old. And that's a 15 million market cap. So that you are getting, you know, kind of in there at the base, you know, startup of this company. It's still a very small company. And we've got Sky Harbor Resources, which I saw. Uh, not much to say there. I just wanted to, to state that they are in the region. They've been around for a, a while, you know, a long time. But the two that I was very interested in were these, uh, these two explorers, ISO Energy Limited and Baseload Energy Limited. Uh, and, and I was very interested in the geologist who, who uh, found, you know, Next Gen Energy's uh, Aero project now has this shadow project. And I think it could be, you know, it, it, he was very excited about the area, uh, couldn't wait. It, it almost like he wanted to uh, explode more, you know, have all this other information come out. And I think he was just holding back some of his excitement about the, the, the area that he uh, can explore. So I'm an, I'm, I jumped online, I bought some, some base load energy. I also have some ISO energy. Uh, I'm spreading my money around uh, to some of these explorers uh, just because if they find something really big, he was talking about they're shooting for an 850 million pound um, kind of goal or target. Even if they don't hit that, even if it's a quarter of that, I think it would be extremely good to get in at these prices. Uh, at, at 15 million market cap. That could easily be a 10 bagger, even if they were a quarter of what they say. But if they hit it really large and, and they hit you know, an 850 million uh, 
pound discovery, now you're talking Camco size. You know, so that's 3.76 billion it, it, if they can start to produce it. Uh, could easily, you know, a $15 million company could easily become in the billions. Uh, and it could even be a 15 billion market cap. Um, as weird as that sounds, a hundred, a hundred fold increase from where they're at, uh, if the price were to go up at the same time that they find all of these, you know, new deposits. So that's one to look at. Uh, so I went in and I looked at the chart at, uh, ISENF. This is ISO energy and you know, it's not looking too bad. It went sideways for a very long period of time, broke this kind of sideways trend. Uh, and now we're going higher and look like we have a little, you know, flag pattern here and it's breaking higher. So I think it's good to go. Uh, I S E N F. I, I like it. I bought some, uh, you know, to disclose. And obviously you guys have to make decisions for yourself. I'm not telling you to buy these things. Uh, do whatever's best for your portfolio uh, and your family and your retirement, whatever you're doing with your money. Uh, this one's the, uh, was it Sky Harbor? So yeah, it, it was coming down and broke to the upside here. So it's, you know, sideways or up is usually what these patterns uh, produce. So it looks like the downtrend's broken. Uh, I, I don't know too much about this company, but it is in the region uh, and it is, you know, uh, been there for, for a while. And then base loads the other one, which is brand new. I can't, you, there's nothing to really chart. It, it's only been public for a week or something like that. It's uh, 30, 36 or 37 cents a, a share. Very small company, very startup. Uh, I'm gonna put in the link. Um, they have a very good YouTube clip, the uh, geologist uh, and CEO of the company. He goes in and talks about, you know, the, the area, what it looks like, where it's located. Um, the, the, I can't remember the exact uh, wording, the peg pigments, peg pigmites, whatever. He goes into detail about uh, the geology of everything and, and why he thinks that area is a very uh, good location uh, in relationship to where all the fault lines are and how these plates are, are push pressing together. Uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, it sounds very promising. Uh, I threw some money in, you know, just to disclose. And uh, if you guys have any other companies, any junior explorers you want me to look into and share with everybody, let me know in the comments section. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in buying any of these companies that I'm presenting here, like Baseload or ISO Energy. Uh, I, I thought both of them were pretty, pretty promising and I, and I liked where they were located. Uh, you go where all of the known finds are and you find companies that are right next door to all of them. That's what I like doing. That's what I do with the, the gold mining companies. Uh, that's what I'm doing here with the uranium mining companies. Hopefully you enjoyed the clip. This is Finding Value. Subscribe, comment, let me know how I'm doing. Thank you.